Okay, this is the part three in installing two OS's, Linux OS's, on a single hard drive. You'll notice I have Voco screen up. It behaves a little differently on Pop than it did on a uh, on a uh, Mint, in that when I minimized it I wasn't able to get to it <laughs> so so I'm gonna leave it up so that I can uh, stop it when we're done and also so that you could see what I was using to record what I'm doing I installed this on the live USB uh, I boot the machine it goes away so you need to reinstall it Pop OS comes with, I believe it's GNOME 3. So, it's a little bit different looking than some other things. Um, I'm going to do a customizing Pop OS video in which I put Budgie on. Um, I like Budgie a lot better, and I know several people that are using pop os that also prefer budgie budgie was invented by i'm going to get this started while while i'm talking budgie was invented by uh, uh solus you there is a budgie flavor for uh, um ubuntu but it's a little flaky. It, it, it's not quite stable. All right, so of course we're going to do English. And of course we're going to do English keyboard. All right. Once again, it's coming up with uh, seeing a device. Normally, you're going to say, yes, unmount everything. But in my case, I'm recording this video to that SDE, so I don't want it to unmount it. Okay, and as you can see so far, this looks pretty much exactly like the Mint installer because they both use Ubiquity from Ubuntu. So we're going to do something else again, and we're going to continue, and it's going to find all the drives, and the SDAs are going to be the hard drive. And uh, so Linux Mint is over there on SDA2 already. And there's its, there's its home. This big large file. Uh, lost its label that I had put on earlier. Oh well. So, we're going to do this on on SDA1. We're going to do change. We're going to make it an X, EXT4 journalizing system. We're going to format the partition and we're going to use home. I'm sorry, slash. I'm going to say OK. All right. Now, here's the big difference. And what we you would normally do and what is normally done. It 
to dxt, we are not going to format that partition. This box, this is this is the box. Format the partition. Leave it blank. So that way it's it's going to use the same home that we set up for mint. And you see it's gonna, it shows it as the mount point. We don't have to do anything with swap, it's going to find it automatically. We want to make sure this is the bootloader grub is going to SDA. Um, now we're going to install. Okay. The following partitions are going to be formatted. Partition one and swap. And we're going to continue. Okay, this is uh, cranking ahead. I'm going to um, cut out starting here. I'm going to pause the video and then restart it when it when it's done. The mint ran a lot quicker than I thought it was going to run. Um, I believe it took about 15 minutes. So I guess we'll see you in about 10 or 15 minutes. Okay. Oh, well, sorry for the silly background noise. I got a game going on. All right. We're going to stop and reboot the machine.